Okay, uh, a couple weeks ago, week ago, week and a half ago, something like that, I showed you this pressure washer here. And what we did was we rebuilt the, well, we cleaned the carburetor. I don't rebuild, I'm on another subject in my head. So we cleaned the carburetor and we got it to run and it ran great, did a great job. I pressure washed the porch, played with it a bit on camera. And then I just let it sit there. Fortunately, I did not contact the customer. I've been trying to get in the habit of waiting 24 hours before contacting the customer and starting it several times during that time. Well, I came back out and I noticed it was dripping gasoline around the seal of the bowl there. So I thought, well, instead of just keep messing with this thing and rebuilding it, let's just go ahead and cut the cost and get a new carburetor. These re these aftermarket carburetors are pretty cheap. So it came in today, so let's go ahead and put it on. This won't take much effort. And something I would imagine almost anybody could do. crankcase breather hose there that hooks up to the back of the air filter. I have the wrong pliers. Let's see if they'll work. Oh, I got it. Well, I'm going to risk it. Instead of going to get my vice grips, I think it's out of gas anyway, so we'll see how bad it leaks. That's it. That was all it was in the hose. And then looks like we have And then there is a linkage here, just one linkage, not hard to take off. I'll show it to you real close. And that's all there is to it. Now, we have a new carburetor. So, in this box is a carburetor. But this is all the goodies it comes with, a new air filter, uh, fuel filter, which this is the wrong that if you're going to put a fil fuel filter on it, this is the wrong one uh, The gravity fed fuel filters are very small. They're red usually So this is uh, got all the seals in it it's Got a new priming bulb spark plug And I think it has a new spring and last time we worked on this we noticed that this spring is stretched right there. So we want to put that new spring on there to get rid of that stretch. I believe this is the one right here. Nope, maybe that ain't the one. Yeah, I think that's it. That bent one is so modified and out of whack. Yep, that's it. Okay, so I put it on off camera, but it wasn't hard. It was just time consuming because I had to get the pliers and wrap the wires around it. But I think that did it right there. I think we're good. So that's the governor linkage is what that is. And then we'll put the new carburetor on, get all the gaskets put on it.
All right, so we got the gasket. Put that on. Okay, so now we're going to try to replace the priming bulb. Okay, as soon as I tried to remove it, it broke. So this thing's in pretty bad shape. And I didn't push it that hard. I was just trying to get it to unlock itself and it broke. Yep, the other side did too. So it was in bad shape. Good to get it replaced. There's a, still gotta get the ring out. The, the bulb detached, but the ring didn't come out. Should slide right in there. Yep, that worked. Okay, when I put the, when I cleaned the carburetor, I made my own gasket. So we're gonna take that off because they've got a better one. Looks nicer. I don't know if it's better. It looks nicer. Now remember, we gotta put this hose on there so there's a little bit of manipulation that goes on first. Alright, so I guess we'll put some gas in it and see if it runs.
so once again I'll wait 24 hours before I call the customer but boy I think I got it so you'll click this up next box to take the video where I was working on this originally so if I can inspire you to keep at it so you can live your dreams thanks for watching